Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to kind of do a little bit of an update here on this channel for you guys. Um, talking about updating you guys and talking about my recent results from the doctor because it's been a long time since I've um, updated you guys on how far my pregnancy have progressed and um, I've also done like a series of tests. Uh, you guys know that I ended up paying for an ultrasound to find out the baby's gender and that was like my second ultrasound because I missed my first one. But then I did have another ultrasound outside of that which was the genetic testing ultrasound and I went ahead and did, did that at 13 weeks and a few days I believe. or. Or I think it was just at 13 weeks. I made a video. I made a few videos after that, but I didn't inform you guys that I even went and did the test because I just didn't have the results. There was no information results from it. I didn't know what to basically tell you guys aside from the fact that I did the test. So my results are in because I recently just went to my doctor's appointment and good news guys. I am very low risk for any, uh, you know, anything, any genetic, um, issues and stuff with the baby um as far as I, we know and that's good news i feel like because they basically classify you as like maternal age once i'm you're over 35 which i am you then feel like you just have to you start worrying a little bit more but at the same time like i said before like i put my trust in god and i'm just um just you know being I'm just trusting that everything is okay and as far as it from my doctor's end everything seemed fine so I think I already shared with you guys that I ended up my blood test was pretty high um, not very high but it was the reading was just there it was just a little bit it was high enough to present that perhaps I should already be meeting with my endocrinologist so I've been seeing my endocrinologist I think ever since like week 12 or 13 I didn't see her physically but I got to correspond with her via phone as well as have a nutritionist and everyone keep up with me as far as me checking my blood um, after each meal and just things like that to take care of myself so the news now is that I am now on insulin at one point they had put me on night insulin because that's all I required and that was just to help my, my blood sugars in the morning my fasting blood sugars were just a little bit high and they just yeah they thought that I should be on night insulin so I was on that that was I've been on night insulin before and it was just I don't know every time I go on it I get all nervous and just a little bit scared because you're taking insulin before you go to bed and you just want to make sure your blood sugars don't go too low or anything like that you just don't want to encounter any issues so I haven't ran into that problem and I'm pretty sure I'll be okay but I initially just getting started I was just like oh I was a little apprehensive so I've been on night insulin I was on it for about I think four weeks so I was up on I was on night insulin up until 16 weeks and then they finally put me on day on insulin after dinner because my readings for dinner was increasing overall I was a little bit nervous about this because I'm like this is aside from my first pregnancy all the other pregnancies following my blood sugars were getting better and better and taking a little bit longer to come on this time around it presented itself much earlier but from from speaking with my nutritionist they said this is relatively normal uh, the more pregnancies you have the um more your body becomes insulin resistant when you're pregnant and it's not a big deal like you just get on insulin or you just get watched early depending on whatever it is that you need and it's just healthier for your baby because you're being put in check and you just have the help that you need and i'm just so grateful because despite the fact that we're in quarantine i have felt so blessed to have so many um so many people cater to me especially in this area i've had my nutritionist i've had my endocrinologist i've had my doctor and despite the changes that may have happened and not being able to just go to things and book your appointment and just run to them i am still very grateful because I, they, they are in touch with me every week they definitely give me that comfort and without them i would be on the struggle bus right now if i didn't have that so i'm so thankful for that I am in Canada and things are a little bit different here because um, our healthcare system you it, it's covered like our healthcare is free with that regard so it does definitely um, allow for us to get the help and the the treatments that we need so 
that's um where it's at so that's my big that's like my big juicy update is really that your girl's now on insulin and i'm not only on it for the night but i'm on it for the evening for my evening meals as well so yeah i'm just trying to figure stuff out um overall my readings are pretty good today today i had some freshie and i feel like i guess i ate too much or i i'm trying to account for food like when you buy fast food it's so hard to keep track of everything so when i bought food even though it was healthy i bought a burrito bowl and it was healthy it just it may have been too much portion wise or too many carbs and me taking just enough insulin to counteract the carbs wasn't the insulin amount that i took wasn't enough because my reading's just a little bit high so i took my hour reading already it was high i'm gonna wait later to see my second reading <laughs> my two hour reading to see how that goes um overall my doctors are they're basic my um nutritionist just encourages me to be just make sure i maintain being active going for walks and the things that i typically do and that's been really really good and helpful to me so yeah i'm just overall i'm doing really well i will have another video coming for you guys letting you know i guess updating you on like just the weeks and where i'm at and how things are really progressing because i'm today i'm 18 weeks and two days and i am almost at the halfway point and this is getting realer than real um the bump is getting there it's getting bigger but i will i will show you guys the bump in my next video which will be my update i will um have a separate video coming for you guys to update you on all the things surrounding being 18 weeks pregnant um hopefully maybe i will be 19 weeks by the time i actually film the video so we'll see that we'll see um but yeah that's the update uh overall like you know having gestational diabetes i know it can be scary for a person who is just starting out or just who's just recently been um, diagnosed because i remember myself being at that place and it was nerve-wracking because i hadn't a clue uh, what was going on and what that meant and all of th all that stuff but after having it throughout all my pregnancies I've learned and I am doing my best to be better at taking care of it. I'm very watchful and very attentive and it's really about following, you know, the rules and following just just following the advice and the help and the aid that's provided to you by those who are knowledgeable, like that those who are, you know, are keeping you in check and are taking care of you. So with each pregnancy it definitely gets easier and the more you know the easier it becomes so just you know get don't get too freaked out i get it that it's just like nerve-wracking when you get diagnosed with something like that but at the same time it's just a chance to give you it's good to be put things in a positive spin because it does give you that chance to look to take even better care of your baby than if you you know what i mean like just be paying closer attention to your body and closer attention to things it definitely helps to keep your diet in check you can't eat a lot of things that you would typically eat and it also aids in not gaining a ton of weight it could it could allow for you to gain a ton of weight in another way but at the same time if you're following um, the things that are set in place um and eating well and just staying active and all those things they definitely will help you to just have an overall healthier pregnancy because you, you can't eat the same like you used to so um yeah that's just my advice for for that's my advice to you guys to those of you that may have have had gestational diabetes or and you're nervous about your other pregnancies and you know you may get it again you may not for those of you who've maybe just recently diagnosed same difference like just be positive about it i get it it's not a desired thing and yes it does make things a little different but at the same time it's you know it, it's it can be a, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time because like i said there are pros and cons to it though ideally we one wouldn't want to have it but you know just hopefully hopefully the fact that you have it it's just lasting during your pregnancy and you progress um you your body just returns to normal after baby that's ideal so i'm praying that happens for me i know gestational di i know that diabetes runs in my family and that the chances of me having it following baby are there and i'm just keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that 
everything just returns to normal and I pray it does and if it doesn't that's just another thing I'll have to kind of deal with and endure so I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here guys it's already approaching 12 minutes uh, I look a little bit rough I apologize but it's just a very simple day for me um, not doing much uh, I also have a haul that I want to do share, showing you guys the things that I just got maternity clothes I'm wearing this dress it's a maternity dress and it's really simple it's right now it's a little big but it definitely um, this is what it looks like it definitely ooh, look how round that thing is oh my gosh <laughs> But it fits, you know, it fits really loose. And it definitely feels comfortable. And that's what I'm about this pregnancy. I'm all about comfort. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, much love.